Hello folks, I hope you're well, I hope you and your family are doing good and I hope um, you are enjoying um, this, uh, certainly in the UK, this better weather. Um, yeah, on this one folks, I want to um, jump in and, and speak about really the um, what we can all relate to, I think, if you're on this channel. I will start Monday um, syndrome. <laughs> um, I will stop. I will start, I will stop. Whether it's weight loss, whether it's giving up, smoking, whatever it is, it's always usually Monday I will start. Um, or Monday I will stop. For me, when it comes to addiction, gambling addiction, I always thought, let me get the weekend out of the way, let me have my football bets and I will stop on Monday. Um, for you, you may experience, you know, it may be the same for yourselves. Um, or I will stop after this certain day or date, you know. I am doing this video to say, it sounds obvious and it might be an obvious video to do, but no, <laughs> no, don't tell yourself that you'll stop Monday, you'll stop whenever without really putting just saying it in a conversation either with yourself your family your wife your husband without them going and putting things in place to build up to that it's unlikely that you will actually keep to it for me and why i'm doing this video is if we are going to say right i'm going to stop i'm going to stop on x date Build up things to put in place so when you get to that day, you're ready. And you stand a much better chance then of actually keeping to it. I've said many times away from addiction, well, I suppose it's food addiction. I will, I'm, you know, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to stop eating whatever um, on Monday, say. So, Lo and behold, instead of putting things in place so it gets to Monday and I stop, I do nothing, I just say it, and then come Monday, I wonder why we've been shopping on Sunday and brought loads of chocolate and things, and then on Monday I'm sat eating it when I'm supposed to stop. And that's the scenario I think sometimes, or in my experience, we find ourselves in with gambling, with addiction in general. Um, whatever your addiction is. Um, so I'm going to speak about gambling in this scenario. For me, if you're aiming to stop on a specific date, maybe you do want to get your last bet in on a weekend or whatever for football. Um, obviously, I'd encourage you to stop as soon as possible. That goes without saying. But if you are one of, you know, what I was, I will stop then. Then for me, please start to put things in place. So when you say you're going to stop gambling, look at things such as GamStop that you can put in place then to start building towards it. So it might be just looking at the GamStop website if they, if you're in the UK. You know, it might just be um, arranging with someone, you know, I'm going to stop gambling on Monday. Will you look after my finances on Monday? Uh, onwards for a, for a temporary period of time um, you know someone you trust um, and only give me what I need for work for, for lunch for whatever um, I would you know speak to companies who I'm gambling with and you know tell that I'm tell them that I'm struggling and I'm going to be taking a break or I want to close the account altogether and make it known to them um, you know, maybe start to tell friends that you are struggling with gambling or whatever addiction it is and that you're looking to take a break or you're looking to stop. Um, these are all little things that you can put in place ahead of the date that you've set yourself to stop. Again, I, I urge that you do it as soon as possible, but if you have got a date in mind, you know, you're not quite ready at this moment, I would start to put things in place to, to then build towards it, it will give you so much of a better chance 
than just saying it, getting to that date, and then finding that actually nothing's in place. I've seen a race at 4pm. I've seen a football bet tonight. I've, I've got an email saying deposit and they'll match it. And before you know it, you've been suckered in. Addictions suckered you in. And before you know it, you've, you, you're gambling or you, you're taking drugs or whatever. You've gone round to friends or having a bit of Charlie. It's just them sort of things. Whereas if you're telling people around you you've got a problem and you're struggling, I know it's not easy. But ultimately, again, we're trying to build towards you stopping or at least taking a, a, a decent break. Um, if, you, if you're handing over your finances to someone you trust um, for a temporary period of time, again, it's a, it's a move in the right direction to help you. If you're looking at GamStop website, if you're potentially speaking about that with a partner or um, a friend or whatever and, you know, telling them what you intend to do and then on Monday you're signing up. If you, you know, putting other things in place such as um, if you know, um, you know, a party's coming up in the two or three weeks down the line and you're addicted to drugs and you know there's going to be drugs at the party, maybe you can start to put things in place and make people aware that you may not attend that that particular party. So it's not just like you're dropping everything and putting too much pressure on yourself. You're, you're building up to it. Um, uh, and and for me, again, you just stand a much better chance. Um, and, you know, I've spoke about it on other videos. Check them out. There's much more um, things you can do to, to stop gambling, to stop taking drugs. Um, just generally things you can do, not not even a addic specific addiction. Um, a lot of it, I think, centres around a person being ready to stop, a person being ready to take a, a decent break, a person admitting to themselves they've got a problem, and a person putting things in place to 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 help them stop, um, and to help them break the cycle of addiction, which is as we know, time, opportunity, and money to do it. And ultimately, you know, in terms of gambling, it's winning, losing, chasing losses, um, going back to win, to lose, to chase losses, um, and so on, and escape, escape. You, you, you know, you have a big loss, you want to escape. Something's gone wrong, wrong in your life, you want to escape. Um, it's important that we really do try and put things in place. And for me, that's just a little bit of, Advice that I've found helpful over the years and I just wanted to pass it on as everything is on this channel. I just want to help, um, you know, just want to help people get the best opportunity they can to, to, to bring to a halt um, their addiction that's, you know, if you're here on this channel, it's, it's clearly causing you problems. Um, you know, it, it's causing you or your family problems and if it isn't, it will eventually if you are showing signs of addiction unless you do something about it which i urge you to put these things in place i urge you to really think about it and and hopefully yeah that you know this video helps i'll uh, i'll leave it at that folks i'll catch you on the next one um leave a like you know if you found value in this you know comment subscribe all helps these videos spread and i'll catch you on the next one folks cheers for that